Okay. Um. Well, this is what it looks like when you take a week and a half off here in Big Town. I don't think they ready. Okay, so it looks like we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> we got some stuff from the very last week of 2023, and some of the new stuff from this year. So, let's see what we got. The new Art Camo Green Shark Hoodie. Now, the Art Camo is a fairly new design. It first showed up back in the uh, Bayhead show last year. Yeah, yeah. Hold up, good. Oh, what the hell is going on? But they only showcase the uh, multicolor colorway. This is the other color, the green colorway. And uh, the art camo, hence the name, art, kind of has this uh, paintbrush stroke design to it. Now, they dropped a few items already in this design, but this is the first time they dropped it in a shark hoodie. Sorta. <laughs> they did do a shark hoodie already, but that was only for the ladies. This one is for the men, but they uh, changed it up a little bit. Instead of the, uh, you know, usual cotton material eyes and cotton material mouth, for this particular shark hoodie, we got a soft rubber shark face. Um, it sounds hard, but uh, <laughs> trust me, it's, it's pretty soft. Recently, Vape has been uh, experimental with different materials for the shark face. Obviously, embroidery, which they've done before, but now you have soft rubber, you have chenille, so yeah. And the soft rubber is used on the WGM and Tiger Graphic. And here it is on body. Now it does kind of remind me of the ABC Camo Green colorway wise, but uh, not too bad, not too bad. I do want to say though, with the soft rubber components that make the shark face and the back, there is a bit more pressure on the face when you zip it all the way up. Other than that, yeah, it's a decent hoodie, decent hoodie. Wish I had the multicolor way to show you guys as well. Well, there it is, guys. The Arts Camo Shark Hoodie. What y'all guys think? Alright, next up. The Vape Alpha N3B Bear Brick. Now, they did drop an entire collection as well. But since your boy was off on holiday... But I did get my hands on the bear brick, which is usually the first thing to go. Ah, if you don't know what Alpha Industries is, American brand, 1950s, specialized American military and fashion. They've done quite a few babe collabs and they've all been pretty good. 2018 was probably my favorite. And here it is. The 400% bear brick and you get two 100% bear brick. That's kinda cool. You usually just get one. Now, um, I think the height for bear bricks has gone down a little bit, but that shouldn't really matter. I personally like them. I have uh, quite a few that I haven't even opened yet. <laughs> personally, I think they really elevate your home interior. Anyways, that being said, just had to make myself feel better for buying all these damn bear bricks. Man, sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Got the shark face with the all over first camo green. The uh, fur graphic, I guess you can say. <laughs> you know, similar to the N3B jacket. A bathing ape on the chest. WGM and Alpha Industries logo on the right arm. Tiger print and Alpha Industry tags on the left arm. On these thick ass legs. Hey, yo. We got the Bape Aim System logo and the standard APA logo with the all over first camo green. And here's the back with the co branding logos. Here are the two 100%. The first one, exact same design as the 400%. And the second one, is a bear brick without the jacket design. So basically, butt ass naked. What the fuck? Well, there it is. The Vape Alpha Industries bear brick, 400% and 100%. What y'all guys think? 
and they did drop a thousand percent as well which they actually put a alpha industries jacket on super clean but just like any thousand percent bare brick <laughs> All right, there goes 2023, on to 2024. The Bape Happy New Year bag. Now, this is something that they drop every year. Simply put, it's uh, basically a bundle pack. You get a bag with uh, a fit. So for this year's uh, New Year's bag, you get this yellow shoulder bag. Feels like nylon material with uh, a <laughs> simple vape on the front. Okay. Let's see what kind of fit we got for this year's New Year's bag. We got a khaki color cap with an embroidered APA logo. What? A white tee with a kinda college print. Huh? Looks like this is the last item. A brown varsity jacket with the same kinda college logo. What? Um... Yeah, this year's New Year's bag is... Uh, it's a no for me, dog. Yeah, Happy New Year's bags were always, uh, pretty simple. Some years, though, they do, uh, surprise you sometimes. For example, 2022, with the reversible varsity jacket, all over Bape Star print stitching. They put some thought into that one. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, but this year, it, uh... It's a no for me, dog. I don't think it was... Kinda remind me of, uh, certain lazy bape collaboration oh my god well there goes this year's happy new year's bag what y'all guys think it's a no for me dog all right on to the very first bape sneaker of the year the new skatester number fours aka the gradient skatester now if you notice since 2022 bape's been dropping gradient color design skatesters around the top of the year you know now that i think about it well 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 how the turntables <laughs> nah 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 a bit of a stretch so for this year they've really dialed down the brightness and the loudness of the colors now when you look at the pictures it looks like it's just straight leather but it's a mix of calf grain leather and suede. Yeah, and that calf grain leather really do elevate the sneaker. Now the suede. The suede is only on the uh, toe box, quarters, and the heel tab. Now, when I say suede, I'm not talking about that uh, soft suede. All of these have a bit of a harshness to them. It kind of feels like, um, like military boots. You know, like them tan ones? The suede kind of has that uh, real durable feel. You know, looking at them all together, the brown colorway is kind of lacking in the gradient uh, department. <laughs> if I had to choose out of the four, this may be an unpopular opinion. I'm really liking the green colorway, which is surprising because in my previous videos, there has been a lot of green colorway skatesters, but that gradient green really do uh, hit different. Uh, yeah, the new skate the number fours, decent pairs, decent pairs. As the years start rolling though, I do hope Bape uh, raises the levels, which may be sooner than later. Well, there it is, guys, some of the latest drops from Bape. But you're probably thinking, how about the MCM stuff? Pretty cool collab, and a lot of real clean stuff. But, uh... <laughs> As always, I appreciate y'all watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.